Hey people, John V here again from Phone Arena. Right now we're doing a video comparison between the Apple iPad 2 and the Asus Transformer Prime. We reviewed the Prime recently. We were very impressed uh, with its overall performance. And for the money, you're getting a lot of value for it. And of course, right now we're going to compare it against probably the best uh, selling tablet out there in the market. The iPad 2 It has long been a benchmark for other devices out there in the past, but now it has a really good competitor against the Transformer Prime. So let's find out which going to get their money. When it comes to design, there's no arguing that these two tablets are very chic looking with their minimalistic appearances. Very similar uniform bezel, also a streamlined construction, but the Transformer Prime is just a hairline thinner than the iPad 2, so it's very nice still. Solid construction, and we definitely adore their premium choice materials. We actually prefer the brushed aluminum back cover of the iPad 2 just because it's, it's managed to repel dirt and debris a lot better than the metallic spun finish of the Transformer Prime. Prime, but you just notice the debris a little bit more. And on top of that, uh, the iPad 2 is a little bit more comfortable to hold just because its edges aren't as sharp compared to the Transformer Prime. Being the newer tablet, the Transformer Prime is treated to a superior display versus its rival. It's a 10.1 inch uh, Super IPS Plus display versus the 9.7 inch IPS display of the iPad 2. So as far as detail and clarity, easily the uh, Transformer Prime wins it. It has a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels versus the uh, 1024 by 768 uh, resolution of the iPad 2. So details, sharpness goes a lot goes to the uh, Transformer Prime 2. On top of that, we like the their natural color reproduction, very nice, especially in direct sunlight, more than visible. But the brightness output and the viewing angles are better on the uh, Transformer Prime. And overall, it just shines just because it offers superior detail, color production, and brightness output, making it the more ideal tablet. Of course, these two tablets feature front-facing cameras. It's a 1.3 megapixel camera on the Transformer Prime versus the 0.3 megapixel camera of the iPad 2. Honestly, the qualities aren't, aren't anything spectacular. They're ideal for video chat and taking self-portraits. No question about it, we prefer the physical buttons on the iPad 2 just because they're more pronounced and offer better responsiveness. However, we do like the fact that the Transformer Prime offers a micro SD card to increase its memory capacity as built in 32 gigabytes, whereas the iPad 2 comes in 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte capacities, but there's no removable storage. With their proprietary ports, of course, they're used for charging data connectivity, but with the iPad 2, you also gain video out with the aid of a digital AV adapter you have to purchase separately, whereas on the Transformer Prime, it has a separate micro HDMI out port for that. And finally, there are the rear cameras. On the Transformer Prime, it's a higher count 8 megapixel autofocus camera, which actually uh, features an f2.4 lens and backside illumination. Compare that to the poultry less than 1 megapixel count camera on the iPad 2. No flash. Yet again, we're faced with that age-old question of which is better, the iOS or Android experience. On the iPad 2, it's running iOS 5.0 versus Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich on the Transformer Prime. Now, the thing that gets uh, the attention of people with uh, the iPad 2 is just its simplistic and straightforward approach with its interface. You can tell the grid-like icons, nothing really else about it. Uh, it does support some, some new refinements, such as the uh, multitasking aspects, which we've seen previously, but helpful. Also, notifi notification systems has been revamped versus previous offerings and also employs a bunch of different uh, multi-touch gestures just for better navigation but it still lacks in the personalization aspect it's not a problem with the transformer prime in android 4.0 ice cream sandwich you can tell just with the home screen you have things like the live wallpaper you, you could interact with uh, different widgets a lot of information also print present to you on screen and it's just very nice it just has a far deeper level of personalization that's found on the ipad 2 so ultimately it's going, to, it's going to depend on which one you prefer, something a little bit deeper with personalization or something less. Previously, we saw very few Android tablets that can match the iPad 2's responsiveness and buttery fluid movements with various operations, but with the Transformer Prime, it just breaks everything that we've known previously. It features a quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor versus the dual-core Apple A5 CPU on the iPad 2, and honestly, the Transformer Prime is super fast to lightning quick. You can tell with the movement, it's tracking our finger very, very nice, um, and considering that it is running more processor-intensive 
massive tasks in the background, such as the live wallpaper, all the uh, dynamic looking widgets versus the simple grid like uh, grid like uh, layout of the iPad 2. You know, it's processing a lot more things and still not slowing down whatsoever. And again, though, both tablets are very quick and responsive with a lot of different tasks. Even though the Transformer Prime has the slight size advantage uh, with its display, the keyboards, the keyboard on it isn't any better than on the iPad 2. And actually they work pretty much on the same premise. You get a really good responsive rate as you're typing very quickly. It's able to keep up uh, with our movement and on top of that, very spacious so we didn't have any issues using either of them. When it comes to web browsing, both tablets deliver a fantastic experience just because with their navigational controls, you can tell very responsive to the touch, fluid movements on both, but with the Transformer Prime, you get that desktop-like experience thanks to its support for Adobe Flash, so in the end, we prefer using the uh, Transformer Prime. When it comes to playing music on the tablets, they're very similar with their interface, but the Transformer Prime just offers this cool looking 3D carousel with its uh, ice cream sandwich music player. It's a little bit more static on the uh, iPad too, but when you're playing songs in portrait, you see the same things, the album cover and the on-screen control, so nothing out of the ordinary. As far as the audio quality, they're both equally in the same level. Good strong tones, robust, pleasant to the ear, and they don't crackle. Mainly because of its higher resolution and larger display, the Transformer Prime is the ideal candidate for watching videos. You get also that 16:9 aspect ratio with it too. Uh, and the videos we're playing here are running very smoothly, no lag or slowdown whatsoever. But the Transformer Prime just has better visuals overall. On the left we have the samples taken by the iPad 2's camera. It's a less than 1 megapixel count camera. On the right we have the Transformer Prime and its 8 megapixel camera. So I'll quickly show you the quality here between the two. We actually prefer the Transformer Prime for the simple reason that it has better detail, whereas the iPad 2 just looks very soft with its details, almost grainy at times even. But interestingly enough, the iPad 2 delivers the more natural looking colors between the two, but still not bad with the Transformer Prime, just because it has an LED flash. But either way, we choose, we'd probably pick with the Transformer Prime for taking photos. No question about it, we prefer using the Transformer Prime for shooting videos just because it does it in 1080p versus the 720p videos of the iPad 2. The iPad 2 just looks very weak with details, very poor. They both run very smoothly but the Transformer Prime offers superior detail, so sharper looking overall and by far it's the clear choice with this one. If there's one unanimous thing that we truly adore about both tablets, it has to be their exceptional battery life. But in our testing, it seems like the iPad 2 gives out just a teeny bit more battery life, but not by much. In fact, we're able to get a solid one day's worth of usage on both tablets, and in some occasions, even close to two. Alright, so it comes down to pricing. So the iPad 2 starts off at $500 for the 16 gigabyte version, and of course $100 more will give you the 32 gigabyte one, and $100 more on top of that will get you the 64 gigabyte one. Whereas in the Transformer Prime, only one model is sold right now, the 32 gigabyte version for $500. So not only are you getting more memory um, out of the box up at the same price point, but it's by far the superior tablet in nearly every single way. We love their killer industrial designs very very minimalistic has such great premium choice materials very sturdy these two are pretty much the top of the ladder in terms of what tablets should look like um, and on top of that the transformer prime just has the better hardware overall better looking display newer faster processor it handles a lot of operations with uh, ice cream sandwich very fluidly it takes better photos and videos and by far it's just the more alluring tablet for five hundred dollars you're better off spending the money on this guy, it definitely is by far one of the most impressive devices we've checked out of late. So if you'd like to learn more about both to the tablets, you can check out our website, phonearena.com. This is John V. Thanks for watching, guys.